Okay, so today we're going to work on using cross multiplication to solve for proportions. So here's my word problem. Mr. Keeler drove 178 miles on 3 gallons of gas. At this rate, how far could he drive on 10 gallons of gas? So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my word fraction. What that means is I'm going to put the units first and then I'm going to fill in my values. Right here I have the phrase 178 miles on 3 gallons. To me, that's comparing two quantities, so I know that I can set up a ratio. I'm going to put 178 miles on the top and my next word is going to be gallons. Now I know that he drove 178 miles on 3 gallons. This phrase tells me that these two amounts go together. Now I can set it equal, as I set up my proportion, to another word fraction. So first I'm going to start by writing my words. You can also just put the first letter if you want, but I'm going to write the whole word. So I have 178 miles to 3 gallons of gas. Now on the other side, my problem tells me another fact. It tells me 10 gallons of gas. That means my 10 is going to go on the bottom with gallons. The question is asking me, how far could he drive? That means my unknown is the number of miles. Now, I can sometimes use multiplication and division to figure out how many times does 3 go into 10. I could multiply that by the form of 1 and figure out the value of x. But 3 does not go into 10 evenly. So I'm going to have to use cross multiplication. The reason I know that is because 3 times 3 is 9 and 3 times 4 is 12. 3 doesn't go into 10 evenly, so I'm going to need to use another strategy. When I cross multiply, I'm just going to, I'm going to use another color, I'm just going to crisscross and set up an equation. So now my equation is going to be, when I cross this way, I get 178 times 10 is equal to, when I cross the other way, 3 times x. Remember, you can multiply by a variable. That's okay. A variable functions just like a number. There's nothing different about it. It's just an unknown number. So I can multiply these two. 3, remember, is called the coefficient because it's being multiplied by the variable. Now, I'm going to combine like terms. Since these are both numbers, I can multiply them. The trick with multiplying by 10 is you just add a 0 to the end of your number. So I'm going to have 1,780 is equal to, on the other side, I just bring this straight down since I can't multiply my number and my variable, and I'm just going to get 3x. Now, I'm at the point where this is an algebraic equation. It's called an equation because it has the equal sign. I can make a do, undo chart, because now I want to isolate the variable. So, over here, I can look on the side with my variable. I'm doing multiplication by 3. That means the inverse operation is going to be to divide by Three. Now I'm not dividing by 1,780 because that's my answer. It's already isolated. This has a coefficient and a variable. I want to isolate the variable, so I'm going to have to divide by the coefficient. So when I divide both sides by 3, I'm going to move up here and do my multiplication up here. I'm going to take 700 or 1780 and I'm going to divide it by 3. 3 doesn't go into 1, so I'm going to put a 0. 3 goes into 17. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. 5 times. Bring down my 8. Remember, your steps are divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. So now I'm going to divide again. I'm back at the top. 3 goes into 28. Let's see. It goes in about 9 times. Nope. Yes, 9 times. 9 times 3 is 27. 1. I still have a number left and I need to bring it down. Now I have 3 goes into 10. 
three times, so I'm going to multiply. Three times three is nine. One. So I have a remainder of one. What I can do is I can add a decimal and I can add a zero. Okay? If I put a decimal in my number, I also need to put it in my answer. So it goes straight up and it's going to sit right after the three. Now this one, this remainder one, doesn't just come up and become 0.1. I need to bring down my zero and continue my division. So three goes into 10, three times, take away nine, remainder one. Now, I know that no matter how many zeros I add, I'm just going to keep ending up with 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, because 3 is only going to go into 10 three times. So I'm just going to stop right here, and my answer is going to be x is equal to 593.3. If I was going to write a full sentence, remember that your value of x is now 593. 0.3 miles. So if I was going to write a full sentence, I would say Mr. Keeler could drive. Now I found my value of x, 593.3 miles. On, my proportion tells me that he's driving this far on this many gallons of gas. So 593.3 miles on 10 gallons of gas. So that's how you cross multiply to solve for the unknown variable in a proportion.